So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about one of the most important settings in your camera that you need to understand when you take good photographs. And unlike ISO and shutter speed, it can really impact your photos in a completely different way that those two settings don't. What I'm talking about is aperture. David Baxter here and welcome to today's video. Now, aperture just simply refers to a mechanism in the lens itself that basically almost works like a sort of small circle. So what you can basically do is when actually you, the light is going through the lens, this circle is either really quite small or what you can do with the aperture is that's basically making it larger. And basically what it's doing is it's actually using more of the lens to take the photograph. So when you're adjusting the aperture, you're either making that thing either smaller or bigger, and it's normally referred to in an F number. So for example, if you've got quite a wide aperture lens, what you'll have is maybe the aperture goes as something as wide as F2.8, and perhaps it maybe goes up into the largest numbers, F22. And basically what it is, is a lower number means that circle is actually bigger, and the higher number actually means that it's smaller. So what's basically happening there is when you're adjusting the aperture, as I say, you're just opening or closing that mechanism. Now, obviously, the really obvious impact that has in your photographs is to do with light. So if you have a lower aperture number, say like the 2.8, and you're making that circle larger, what you're going to do is let more light in the image. So it's going to make your photographs brighter. But if you actually increase the aperture and put up that number to, as I say, maybe f22 is the biggest, but even for example, you put up to f11, then you're going to let less light into the lens itself and it's going to make your images darker. So that's something to bear in mind. If you find yourself, your images are coming out quite dark, then maybe what you want to do is actually lower that f number. And if you're finding that they're too light, you maybe want to increase the f number. But Compared to actually ISO and shutter speed, there's something else that's really important that's gonna to happen to your photographs when you adjust the aperture. And that's gonna be talking about next. So something else that's gonna to happen to your photographs when you adjust the aperture is going to be the depth of field in your photographs itself. So it's not just gonna be a case of making them lighter and darker, it's actually gonna change the composition of the photo. And that's what's really important about aperture is it's the one you really need to understand and really adjust carefully to get the right results. So basically what happens is that when you actually have a very wide aperture and that is a very low f-stop number then what you're going to find is not only is your image getting lighter but there's going to be less adaptive field and what I mean by that is basically there's going to be more blur in the background or foreground of your shot. So for example, I've spoken in other videos, if you're going to be wanting to shoot a portrait of a person, what you want to have is you want to have that nice depth of field, you want to have a low F number, because what's going to happen is going to help your subject stand out from the background. There the subject's going to be nicely in focus, but the background's going to be nicely blurred out, and that's going to help it really give a nice sharp image and really stand out. However, of course, there are situations where you're going to want a really nice sort of high F number and a really sort of narrow aperture because what that's going to do, that's going to keep more of the photograph in focus. So for example, typically when you're doing a landscape shot, if you've got a nice big scenery in front of you, what's going to happen is that you're going to have to want to put that F number up higher so you can basically pick out all the details, especially if you look back and later on and get a print of it and enlarge it, you want to see all those details and see them in focus. So as I say, it's really important when you get the composition of your shot that you actually bear that in mind because as I say, even though ISO and, ISO and shutter speed affect the light as aperture does, aperture is so much more important because it's going to completely change how your photograph looks. So I'll give you an example here. So this image on the screen at the moment, this is an example of a really high aperture. What you can see of the shot here is most of the shot is basically in focus, if not pretty much all of it. And as I say, that's been like a really high aperture, like f22. Now, if you compare it to this photograph here of the same subject, and you see this is now using a really wide aperture and a really low f-stop number, you can see it's a completely different photograph. The subject itself is nicely sharp and in focus, but everything else is all blurred during the background. So it's nice in a way that it helps draw your eye to it. But as I say, there's always gonna be examples out there where you wanna have an eye aperture because you wanna make sure everything's in focus. So it's really one of these things you really need to be careful of not just consider the light you're letting into the lens itself and how bright or dark your image is going to be, but what composition you want in your photograph. So there it is, there is what aperture is and how it impacts your photographs. As I say, it's one of the most important things to understand if you want to get the best results in your photographs because it's really going to impact that composition. If there's anything else you struggle with or want to know about more about photography, please leave some comments uh, below. And if you did like this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.